Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the golf port. This is their part number, FR688A, adjustable floor anchor. Um, this video is going to talk about this item from Golfport, their items, the dimensional properties of the item, and a deep dive into what adjustable floor anchors do. First, let's take some dimensional properties. The overall width of the backer plate is about five and a half. Its overall height is about five and a half as well. The overall height of the anchor strap itself. going to be about six and five eighths okay um, projection of the backer plate it's about seven sixteenths so this is a piece of um, wipe coat galvanized steel it's not insignificant in its weight and it's extremely capable um, what's going to happen next in this video is we're going to talk deeply in terms of where you would use this and why you would use this. Um, then we're gonna switch to the screen view and we'll look at the supporting documentation for this item. Let's move on. Here is our next definition when it comes to the SDI glossary. And this part's gonna talk about the entry anchor, adjustable floor anchor. Adjustable floor anchors are um, defined as follows. I'm just going to read it. A metal device used to secure a frame to floor at base, which allows the jam to be positioned at a location in height above the floor. Typically used at a depressed slab or unlevel floor condition, also referred to as an adjustable base anchor. Um, so adjustable base anchor, I typically hear the term base anchor when it applies to a mullion. You need a base anchor there, and that mullion's going to set over the base anchor. Floor anchor, I'm, I'm specifically thinking of the outside uh, of the jams itself, um, and that's probably just a result of the reflection of my experience within the industry. SDI says it's called an adjustable base anchor as well, but I think of floor anchors when it comes to the outside of the jams and the anchor that you would have be in the throat of the frame that you would secure down to the floor as you brought the wall up to it. And then a base anchor is what you would have if you had a frame, but it had an attached side light. And you're gonna have a floor anchor on the outside for this hinge jam, most likely. The outside of the side light, that's maybe gonna have a floor anchor if it goes all the way to the floor, it might. But where the mullion comes down, the strike mullion comes down, here's your hinge, mull your hinge jam, your strike mullion, you need to put a U-shaped base anchor down and set the frame down on top of that. Uh, that base anchor has been secured down to the floor. The frame is dropped on it, and then you generally screw through the face of the frame into the return of the base anchor. So that's how I think of it. Um, they're saying it's either way. But an adjustable floor anchor is here. Here is an example of it. This is from Gulfport. Gulfport Industries is a name that most everyone would know if you are in the hollow metal business. Uh, there are two anchors, uh, and it is their um, courtesy of Gulfport, I should say, that I'm using their samples for this video. Courtesy, to them we say thank you. You have the FR688F, which is uh, which allows you adjustability in a vertical sense. Okay. They have their FR668A, which is a fancy one. That allows you to both horizontally and vertically adjust in two axes. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty unusual as well. So adjustable base anchors, adjustable floor anchors, these are used um, infrequently, but they do come up. And the situation is this. Every time that I have had a client ask for them or say, with this frame or these couple of frames, the client will call, uh, you're doing a 910 South Michigan, a project that was the standard oil building and it went to condos. I think that's what it was, don't quote me. What we did, there were several hundred frames in the job. The contractor, the guy, the project manager running the, running the uh, installation of doors, frames and hardware, would occasionally call and say, yeah, on the fifth floor, the pour of concrete was uneven. 
So I'm going to need some adjustable floor anchors on there. And what that means is you've got a rectangle. The frame is a rectangle. The frame needs to sit. The door needs to hang true, plumb, level, and square. If your floor is uneven, that frame is going to sit, sit on the floor and it's not even. So what is done with an adjustable floor anchor is you've got your frame, you set it down on the high point while it's on the low point that you're then going to take and drop. Basically, if it's here, you're going to drop this down. Okay, This is going to be attached to the throat of the frame. This would be welded in. This will be loose like this. And, uh, you know, Golfport makes this with a nylon lock nut and a typical, you know, probably quarter 20 sheet metal screw or a machine machine screw. Um, and securing it together that way is clearly the concept. So you would put this in position. You'd put your frame in position. You would then mark where this needed to be exactly in your installation, no matter where it is then secure the length of this or the projection of this and this 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 leg will be literally sitting below the bottom of the frame you bring the frame back and then you will set it down it will be level you'll secure it you'll bring your wall up to it and then how they fix the floor is how they fix the floor more concrete some sort of floor condition or it's left that way who knows but in a heavy but in a construction project where there's lots of masonry, poured masonry is where I would see these frames all the time. You could also obviously use it in an application where you've got, uh, you know, a floor that's just not level, whether it be new or a hundred plus years old or this poured concrete application. So the FR668 allows that vertical adjustment. Not uncommon. Um, in a hollow metal shop, I would probably, I would certainly want to have a few of these laying around, but to bump into a last minute need for several dozen or hundreds of these, I've never encountered that. So that's where you're going to use this. The FR668, uh, 688A, that's a fresh take on this. I've never needed to use an adjustable floor anchor that was adjustable uh, in both axes. Obviously, your Y and now your X, okay? But I can certainly fathom where you would use this. You have not only an uneven floor, but now you've got a floor from your X axis is not level, but now your Z, so to speak, your depth, it's stepped, or there's some completely horrible, awful situation that you're trying to set a frame into, um, where you literally need to take that and move it all the way over here and then drop it down to this area. Okay, that's where you're going to end up using this because, obviously, you don't have a floor condition here where the frame needs to sit on top of. Okay, so that would be an application of where you would use the FR688A. Uh, pretty neat. Um, I think that's really all there is to say about an adjustable floor anchor. Um, in a hollow metal shop setting, I think you would have a few laying around like I had just said earlier. Uh, looking back at the SDI definition, they are they are showing it installed this way. They're not showing a golf port anchor, but literally it looks like this. Okay, great. So you'll take and weld the plate to the back of the frame. By the way, five and a half inch. So if you're going to put this on a four and three quarter frame, you'll get that in your chop saw and you'll cut it down even evenly if necessary. Um, so here's your X. You want to do it this way or X this way. There you go. And here's your Y axis. So that could work either way. Clearly what they're doing here on the single style is they're just taking this bracket in the back and cutting it in half is clearly what they're doing. Okay, we're going to continue on uh, with the definitions of anchors, and the next one up is called compression. Compression anchors are next, and let's talk about those next. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. All right, here's the item that we're looking at in the site. Let's take a look at some photographs that we have of this item. Here it is. 
So what you'll be seeing if you're looking back into the throat of the frame, side view, the back side view, top view, then the bottom. And the previous part of this video was pretty comprehensive. Obviously, this is where you'll secure it down to the floor. These holes here would be really great for plug welding or just welding on the outside corner. Y and X axis uh, adjustment. Now, there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Gulfport products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog here. And that's not the document we want. We want the parts catalog, forgive me, parts catalog. This will go over all of the anchors that Gulfport produces and makes available. Uh, as you get to the anchors, you know, you're going to start seeing anchors, existing wall anchors, stud anchors, sill anchors or base anchors, floor anchors, T anchors of different types, base anchors as well, double egress anchors for wood and metal studs, double egress masonry. This is a yoke and strap. Masonry strap anchor. I like this anchor a lot. It's my favorite anchor. Back in the 1970s, I believe welded in anchors were a requirement for a three hour labeled opening. Well, when I started in the industry in 1990, that was not the case. And they were very uncommon. I never saw them. We never stocked any of them. But later in the 90s, I stocked them and I used them a lot uh, for masonry applications um, because you can't forget the anchors when you deliver the frames. They can't get lost. The contractor, you know, I've, I've, had, I've had one customer, he called me a number of times that he lost the anchors. Well, I wouldn't say that he called me the time that I welded the anchors to his frames, but he did call and say he can't f locate the anchors. He says, I don't see the anchors. I says, do you have your frames? Are you looking at the frames? Yes. Um, I says, well, you can see the anchors. I says, look in the throat of the frame. He says, what's that? Anyway, that, that was the routine I was getting. Um, so we solved his problem. I think he complained later about those anchors not liking them as much. And that I don't have an excuse for or, or, or a reason, I should say, why he didn't like those anchors. Um, but we did solve the problem of them getting lost, so to speak. Then here are floor anchors from Gulfport. Our Y axis only and then our X, our Y and X axis the A and then the F version for uneven floor conditions as we've gone over at length. Wire anchors, metal stud anchors, more, more, these are existing wall anchors as well, or expansion bolt anchors they call them. Stud anchors, compression anchors, corner bracket for frames. You're gonna use this when you're putting mitered items together. Silencers, caps, reinforcements, things of that nature. If you ever have a need, at least, or 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 even an occasional need for anchors, you'll likely want to at least bookmark this document. We don't stock all of this stuff, quite frankly, not nearly, but we do certainly keep the common material on hand. That's to be sure. Okay, so let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, we don't sell very many of these types of floor anchors, and it's very unusual when they're needed. And I'll tell you, um, it's very unusual to have your customer actually tell you beforehand that he'll need these. Um, I had one job that I did where the project manager was really that forthright. The guy. The man was extremely pleasant, extremely smart, thought three steps ahead, never pulled any last minute shenanigans on us, was extremely pliable when it came to, let's not do these locks, let's do these locks. And he called me and said, I'm gonna need floors. This was the 910 South Michigan building, which was the old standard oil building, kind of across the street from Soldier Field in Chicago, right near Columbia University. Um, this, I forget how many floors are in that building. I just don't remember. 40, 50, something, you know, a mid-rise building. 
and they were pouring the concrete and yeah the, some of the pours were really awful and he said I'm gonna need he says you got you know what an adjustable floor anchor is he says um, didn't say that he says yeah I've got some situations where my jams not gonna hit the floor on one side because the floor is like this it'll hit over here but it ain't gonna hit over here and I says I know what you need tell me the hand tell me what side you need this on I'll put them on one side or both uh, so we cut out the original anchor and then welded these adjustable anchors in, and um, you know worked perfectly for the fella he was able to gauge that tighten that he was he was in great shape at that point um, so it worked out really well for that application but you know that was 25 years ago um, and you just don't bump into these requiring these floor anchors that often Sometimes you do, and it's nice to be able to take that frame and get it completely level so that you can hang your door true, plumb, level, and square is the bottom line. Golf court, uh, golf port is a name synonymous, again, with anchors and whatnot. Relatively simple and straightforward. They do have order minimums. If you're buying two of these, they're going to be expensive. The price for 200 is a very different number. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to buy onesie, twosies. It can be quite costly because, it, understandably so, Gulfport doesn't want to make two of these. They want to make 2,000 of those and have a barrel full of them. Good quality people over there, nice, responsive, and to them for that, I say thank you. Any questions on the Gulfport? This is their part number, FR688A, Adjustable Floor Anchor, or any other Gulfport product. Please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.